Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit nicer today. We can cross our fingers. So I am here to talk to you about my wonderful, absolutely fabulous writers, because that's what you all are, right? You all have become writers. And did you tell your family that you're a writer now? Did you tell any grown-ups that are in your house or brothers and sisters that are in your house or maybe even grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles on the phone that you're a writer? So cool. Did you know that maybe you could get your family to write with you? You could even come up with a whole book together. Isn't that so cool? Writers can become part of clubs and you can write together. So many awesome things that writers can do. I can't even tell you. Hmm. Let's pretend for a minute. Want to pretend for a minute? Let's pretend. Hmm. Maybe I can be, I'll be a grandma. I'm going to put on my grandma shawl. Hmm. Put on my, my grandma shawl and I'm going to wrap it around me. And maybe I'll put on my, oh, let's see, my grandma glasses. See, I'm gonna turn myself into a grandma. Here I am, I'm a little grandma. Now, hmm, hi boys and girls. What's that I hear? I hear that you're becoming writers. Hmm, what do I need to know about being a writer? Can you tell me? Shout it out, I can't really hear you. Shout out, what do I need to know about being a writer? Hmm. Shout it out. What do I know? Hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing from some of you that you need to think of a topic you know a lot about. That's true. You do need to think of a topic that you know a lot about. And you can do that, what did you say? You can do that by looking at the things around you, the things that are near you, the things that are close. That's how you can figure out what to write about. Oh, huh. but I could be a writer. Hmm. Yes, yes, and you need to picture it in your mind. You need to picture those things in your mind so that you can think really hard about them and then draw them on your paper. Wow, you all are becoming such smart writers. That's pretty impressive. Hmm. Silly, that's silly, but it's true. Yes, you are all so smart. You need to think about things that you know a lot about, right? You can look at the things around you, things that are near to you. And once you think about those things that you know a lot about, you can draw them down on your paper. That's true. But I have one more thing to teach you. One more for right now, anyway. That good writers, hmm, sometimes they look at the work and guess what? As a writer, you're never ever done. Isn't that crazy? You don't have to be done. Because writers, when they think they're done, they've only just begun. There's more that they can add. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Yesterday, I was showing you my story about the thing that I know a lot about, which is, do you remember? mowing the lawn, right? And I had my lawn mower and I had my hands on my lawn mower and it's on the grass and it has the wheels. Now, I know that a lawn mower has a handle and mine has a battery in it so that I don't have to put gas in it all the time. I just have to charge the battery and I have to push it in certain lines. When I'm, when I'm mowing, I go in a line and then I turn around and go back again in another line. But 
there's some things that I can add to this picture. I can add things like, I'm gonna turn my camera down so hopefully you can see what I'm adding. I did not add the fact that there is a bag on the back of my mower that all of the grass goes into. So I can add that bag, all of the grass goes into that. And in the front of my picture, I can add the tall grass because my mower didn't get to that yet, right? So I need to mow all of this tall grass so I can add that to my picture. And I'm also going to add, I told you, I think that I like to listen to music while I'm mowing the lawn. So I'm gonna add my headphones. I don't have ear pods, so mine has a long wire that comes down and I strap it around a pack around my waist. So I have my headphones in and I'm smiling and I'm listening to music. And there's a little bar right here that I can add because that is what I have to squeeze up for my mower to go. Once I let go of it, the mower shuts off so that I'm nice and safe. So writers, you can look at your pictures and you can always add more to them because writers are never done. There's always something that you can add to your picture. Now I wanna show you a picture that a little boy made me. And he made me this, I don't know, a while ago. And he loves, loves, loves baseball. So he made this picture and it's of him. And you can see that he made a baseball bat and he made a baseball. And he was really excited about his picture because he knows a lot about baseball. And you know what he said to me? He said, I'm done. <laughs> but I know better because as a writer, we know that when we think we're done, we've only just begun. So I know that he could add more things to this picture. Some things he might add, hmm, what do you know about baseball? I asked him and I said, hmm, I think there might be some things that you could add to your picture here. Think, think really, really hard. And do you know what he told me? He's like, oh, the field is in the shape of a diamond. I could draw that. And there's bases, there's first base and second base and third base and home plate. I could draw those too. And he got really excited and goes, and guess what? Sometimes there's the scoreboard and I could draw the scoreboard too. And he got really, really excited. So I sent him off and I said, add more to your picture because you are a super writer and you have a lot to say. Show me in your picture. So friends, we know that when we feel like we're done, we can always add to our pictures. We can always add to our words. Maybe you're not writing words, maybe you are. Maybe you're just writing a letter down. And then after we add to our pictures and add to our words, that's when we start a new piece. That's when you start to write lots and lots of books. After you've added more, picture, more to your picture and more to your words. Because writers are never done. Good luck today. Add some things to your pictures. We cannot wait to see them.